guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Ashley, if you are new. And if you are new, please go ahead and stop what you're doing. Do me a quick favor. Hit that subscribe button as well as that notifications bell so that you and I can become acquainted and so we can do things like this on the regular. So I'm actually coming in. Um, I'm, first of all, let me shout out my girl, Delana, aka Brown Girl Lux. I will have her channel link down below. But essentially, um, she did a video, I think it was last week, on her SLG collection. And I was very much inspired because if you know me, then you know that I am an absolute SLG fanatic. I actually did a video on my SLG collection probably in 2020 or 2021. I'll link that down below as well. But since I am an SLG addict, I definitely have acquired a few more pieces since that video. So I do want to just kind of come to you guys with an updated collection. And I also want to preface this pre. I want to also <laughs> I also want to put a disclaimer in, which I kind of cringe at disclaimers because it's like if you are small, this community over here on the Coco McQueen channel, but we are mighty. But what I will say is that if you know me and you know my personality, you know I am super anti-brag, braggadocious. That's just kind of not my style whatsoever. Um, so I do want to come in and say that this is absolutely not a bragging video. Um, in my opinion, again, if you know me, then you know that it is not, um, I don't think material things are anything to brag about. Let's be clear about that. More, uh, more the intangibles are in the emotions and the internal things are something that I think are worthy of bragging. And even in that regard, I don't brag. It's just kind of anti me. So again, I just wanted to put that disclaimer out there and say that this is by no means a bragging video. But if you are into some of the same things that I'm into, then you might find this um, entertaining and or informative so that is the reason why we are here nothing more nothing less and with all that being said let's get into it what I'm going to do is start with the smaller the smaller items of the small leather good collection um, so let's go ahead and get started and I guess I will start off with my card holders I love a card holder girl I love a quick little cute little card holder I like to pick them up from different places I like to have fun with my card holders as well and I'm hoping that this video is not super long. So let's just go ahead and get into that thing. And I guess I'll go in order by when I acquired the pieces, if I can remember. Um, so my first card holder ever, which is also surprisingly the actual card, ho card holder <laughs> that I'm using right now is none other than my Chanel. So this is the classic Chanel black caviar gold hardware um, card holder, pretty much. Um, the classic so I love this and I have been using this for probably the past couple of months So it's time to kind of rotate but love her. I've had this for probably Almost a decade and she's still in excellent condition. So That is my first card holder in my current one as well So moving right along the second card holder that I acquired is a one a card holder that a lot of people have in their collection as well and I understand why because they're amazing so this is the YSL card holder. This one is in the Chevron. I'm not exactly sure what type of leather this is, but it's a textured leather. So it's similar to the caviar from Chanel, but this is in taupe with silver hardware. I absolutely love this one as well. It is kind of tight as it pertains to like the, the interior of the card holder in comparison to Chanel. As you can see, she's much more pliable. This one is a little tight and I used to carry her a lot too. So love this. I got this off from selfridges.com back in the day when you were able to still pay the European price or um, the lower price with free shipping and no, um, and no tax. So I got this for a really good deal. So that is my YSL and I really want to pick this up in like a cute pop of color, maybe like a pink or something like that. Moving right along, the next card holder is going to be uh, my Balenciaga. This is pre, pre, pre the previous, the uh, the current or the previous scandal from like last year. Um, but this is the Balenciaga card, her card holder. This is in lambskin and it's very, very soft, girl. Like this is the softest, most pliable one that I own. And I got this for an amazing price from barneys.com this is how this is how long i've had this i probably paid like 
<sighs> we'll say $120 or something like that. This is right before Barney's went out of business. Yep, so I picked this up off of Barney's and I got it for an amazing price and I absolutely love it, but I don't carry it often. But I love um, the quality of Balenciaga leather, both old and new, especially old. <laughs> Moving right along, still in the card holder category. So the next one I had was one that I absolutely love as well i love all of these how about that i just love all the card holders but the next one that i picked up is going to be another very popular uh card holder and this is the monogram reverse um louis vuitton card holder so it has the reverse monogram on the front and the regular monogram on the back and it is pretty um pliable as well so it's definitely easy to open this one was made in france so it's mif for all my former purse forum girlies. Um, so yeah, I love this and I used to carry this. I probably carried this for like six months straight when I first got it. And I think that was back in 2020. So love her. <laughs> and the last, well actually not the last, I guess we can consider this one a card holder as well. So love this. This is the first or the second thing that I've ever picked up off of the, actually that's wrong. I got this, this is my first and only pre-owned card holder that I picked up. I got this from Fashion File for an amazing price maybe a year or two ago. I wanna say I pay like 150 plus tax and if you know, that's an amazing price. So this is the original Mirakami um, Louis Vuitton white multicolor card holder. It's kind of like a French wallet style and it's an amazing, it's an amazing quality. And this is how it looks on the inside. Like I said, it's kind of giving you like French, French uh, wallet vibes, but I love her as well. And I haven't carried this recently and I need to. So I love this. And this is my first and only piece of white multicolor Mirakami piece from Louis Vuitton. And I love, um, I love the, that collection. And my most recent purchase, as it pertains to a card holder, and I have a little bit of a backstory, um, is one that I picked up when I went to Chicago on a day trip this past June. It was my first time ever going to a Goyard. Well, it wasn't a full store. They have a Goyard in Neiman Marcus in Chicago on Michigan Avenue. So that was my first time experiencing Goyard in the flesh. Um, so I, of course I had to comm commemorate that day trip by purchasing this. And this is my orange Goyard card holder. Very, and of course it has the signature mustard yellow on the interior, but I also love this. And before I switched to this card holder, I was using this for months also. So love this. And these are actually hand stitched. So just a quick little fun fact about the Goyard card holders. So that is, those are all of my card holders. In a nutshell, and I did not realize I had this many until, well, there's, I mean, there's six. So those are all of my card holders. So those are the smallest SOGs. And let's move on to the keychains. So the next category, we're gonna move into key rings or uh, key holders, if you will. And I believe my first one is going to be a very classic one and also the one that I the crazy thing is with the card holders and with the key holders these are the first these are the actual items that I'm using right now so um so yeah so this is my uh first key holder which is really it's not a key holder this is the Louis Vuitton monogram key clay I don't know what they still call it the key clay but it is intended for keys it has this little key um fob right here and essentially you're supposed to just put your keys inside of the pouch but i've never done that i always carry them on the outside but i've been using this for woo. i've been having it for well over a decade we'll say that but i definitely have been using this lately i don't even know how long girl this this is my um, go-to key holder um so i love this and this is an amazing condition i have had this key holder I got it, it was about $200. I don't know how much it is right now, but this is definitely a staple in most people's collection. And I absolutely, it's a great investment because it is in excellent condition. So that is my first uh, Louis Vuitton key holder and also the one that I'm using currently. Uh, moving right along, the second one that I got is this, this is the um, graphite, Dynier graphite or graphite Dynier. This is the six key holder. This was probably, I probably got this back in 2012 when I got when I got a new car that year. 
And this one is definitely beat up, girl. She is beat up to the to capacity. Um, as you can see, she, I mean, she's not horrible. She's still functional, but she definitely has seen better days. And I uh, typically get black cars. So this is the reason why I picked this one up. And this is actually the only piece of Louis Vuitton that I have that is in this particular canvas, the Damier Graphite. And it's so beat up. So this is the six key holder right here. As you can see, back in the day, you were, I did get a heat stamped with Ash, A-S-H, cause you know, I'm Ashley. Um, so it was heat stamped, but you can barely see it right now. It was heat stamped in silver um, chrome to match this stuff over here. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna sell her. I don't know who would even wanna buy her with this condition, but I will keep her because she has sentimental value. Moving right along. Oh, this is probably really the first key holder that I picked up or the first key clay. So I got this, this is a Louis Vuitton, y'all, I haven't even looked at this and I don't even know how long, <laughs> but this is the Louis Vuitton. This is a key clay as well, but it's much bigger than the canvas one, but they both are considered key clays. As you can see, the size is significantly different, but this is in Bernie and I, I think this is Indian Rose um, back when, you can't even see the monogram on this, y'all, but it is, there is monogram embossed in this um similar to like i said the louis vuitton bernie i'm pretty confident this is indian rose y'all this still has like business oh i thought it had some business, some business cards with this i have coins in here and i don't even know the last time i picked this up but this is something i think i picked somebody got me for somebody <laughs> i'm cracking myself up this is all of this stuff this this video filming this video is definitely taking me down uh, the memory lane, we'll just say that. But I did get this for like Valentine's Day one year. But uh, but yeah, I don't use her. I actually tried to sell this to Fashion File and they quoted me something so ridiculously low, I decided to keep her. So that's why she's still here, but she doesn't see the light of day. But yeah, so we have her as well. And then lastly, I have a four key holder, which is in one of my absolute favorite Louis Vuitton prints of all time, which is the black multicolor. Um, I picked this up actually off of eBay. And this again is the four key holder. And I probably got this for like $120 where I got it for a really good price. But um, she's in pretty good condition as well. She is fuchsia on the interior. And um, like I said, this is the Louis Vuitton four key holder from eBay. And that is not, that's how you close it. So that essentially concludes my key holders from an SLG standpoint. So I will say the next category is agendas, but I actually only own one, but because this this is so special to me personally because of the collection it belongs to, um, this is the only one I need, <laughs> but I'm sure I'm gonna want more in the future. But anyway, the only agenda that I own is, oh, y'all, I don't ever use this, but this might be my favorite SLG because it's just so damn fabulous. But this is the Louis Vuitton. This is the Mirror Mirror collection or Mirror Mirror, whatever. It's the Mirror Mirror collection. And they came out with this patent leather, essentially vernis before they have vernis. And it's in this gold metallic. They also came out with silver metallic. Uh, Paris Hilton, Kim Kardashian pretty much made that collection famous because they were spotted probably back in like 06, 07 with these big ass Almas. And I think Kim, Kim had a silver one and, and Paris had a gold one. But anyway, that's not the point of this. The point, is this. the point of this is that this is my one and only agenda, as you can see. And I picked this up off of The Real Real for an amazing price. And I wanna say this is the the first item I picked up from The Real Real, but like I said, the price was so freaking great. I've definitely paid less than $200 for this and I would cherish this forever because I have always been obsessed with this collection and I would love this in a sack plaid in this particular gold um, patent leather. But love this, my one and only agenda. <sighs> She's beautiful. The next category is going to be pouches. I consider these SOGs even, they are lined in leather. These are my Goyard pouches. Now, I did not purchase these separately. These definitely are included. Um, they come with you, if you buy a St. Louis, either a PM or a GM 
a go yard bag then you get these pouches included so um this is the first one that i have because that's the first go yard bag that i have so i had and I, I don't use these inside i mean if i'm carrying the bag i'm using this inside of the bag but i use one of these on a daily basis i typically will use like right now for example well sorry i'm getting off track let's start off with the beginning so again this is the first one um, which is the uh, black with the tan um, piping this is the first Goyard pouch that I uh, that I own because of that. That's the first Goyard St. Louis that I purchased. So I have the black one with the tan. I also have it in the green. For some reason, my green is like a little bit more faded than the other ones. I'm not exactly sure why. And I actually keep my passport in here, um, surprisingly or ironically or whatever. My passport, this is kind of like a passport holder for me as well. So that is my green Goyard pouch. And then my most recent one, because I picked up the Navy Goyard St. Louis GM when I was in Paris this past September. So this is the Navy one. And this is the one that I'm actually currently carrying these on a daily basis. So right now, um, this is how I'm car I, I carry like a card holder and then I just essentially put it inside of a pouch. And this is what I have in my bag as we speak. So those are my three Goyard pouches. So the next category is going to be wallets, but this is going to be the shortest category because I only have two because I love card holders so much. Wallets are a little bit more bulky, um, so I only have two. The first wallet that I own is going to be the Louis Vuitton Insulin Organizer, I believe is the name of it. This is also heat stamped. Y'all, this is huge. That's why they call it the Insulin Organizer. Like literally, you could put a checkbook in here, you could put 4,000 cards. It has a key, it has a coin pouch on the, on this, it has three actually. It has this coin pouch here in the middle. It has this coin pouch here on the front. And it also has this coin pouch here on the back. So this one is in excellent condition as well. I probably have had this for over a decade also. And of course, in signature Ashley fashion, it is heat stamped with gold ash. So love this. This also has plenty of stuff in it, um, old stuff. I probably got some forever stamps in here that I've been having for 10 years as well. Love. So the second wallet that I own is going to be another black multicolor. I, again, I love, love, love this collection. I would not be opposed to them bringing it back like they did the denim collection more recently. So, but anyway, this is my, I think this is an insulin wallet as well, but it's just the regular insulin versus the organizer like my, the one I just showed you guys. So this is my black multicolor um, Igram insulin wallet. It has, this also was a pre-owned uh, purchase. I got this from Fashion File, obviously, because this is a limited edition collection that is no longer in production. So the reason why I love this so much is not only is, be is it because it's black multicolor, but also it is the, I think it's called pistache, or like pistachio in, Fr in French, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. But basically these are like my brand colors for my website, cocomcqueen.com. Um, my signature website colors are black and lime green. So that's why I was so happy to pick this up from Fashion File and I'm pretty confident I got it for a really good price, but I've had it for so long, I don't remember how much it was, but I love this. But again, because this is pre-owned, you can't see it, but it's like the invisible embossing of somebody else's initials. So I actually just reminded, just this is a reminder that I need to take this to Louis to get this reheat stamped and put the signature Ash name in it. So love this excellent condition and um, I don't carry this often but I love it and I will not be getting rid of it uh, moving right along cosmetic cases um, so I for cosmetic cases I have two technically um, so this one is the Daimier Eben Daimier Daimier Ebony Daimier Eben this is the cosmetic case and this is in the GM size with the um, red interior which everybody typically loves it is super dirty like the stuff that's in here is so old essentially this is used to be like my everyday makeup bag and i used to take this when i worked in the office so all of this stuff is like super old like literally the first chanel labeige's compact is in here girl but love this excellent um this is an excellent piece it's in excellent condition and this is well over a decade old as well and i've seen girls turn this into like a crossbody and add like little like take it to like a cobbler 
and add holes to these two leather tabs on the side um, and then just kind of draping it and making it a crossbody adding like a gold chain so that's something that i have considered because i have not used this in a long long time but it's a classic piece and i won't be getting rid of it uh, the next piece is also a cosmetic case technically, but it's not an SOG because it does not have leather on it. Per not I mean, it's mostly it's nylon. So this is my Prada Black Nylon Cosmetic Case. I think I picked this up off of eBay. I think this is an eBay from Japan. If you know, the Japanese resellers on eBay are amazing. So I got this for a really good price. And this again is a must. So technically this is not a small leather good because it's mostly nylon, but I mean, this is kind of the Safi. This is the Prada Safiano leather. So I guess we can keep that in this category, but I use this as kind of like a catch-all and I normally keep this in the car, um, but there's like Altoids in there and sanitizer and a random uh, lap, lip chap, etc. Love this, excellent condition as well, especially for the price. I probably pay like less than $150 for this, so uh, love this as well. Category is going to be toiletry pouches. Now, I have three toiletry pouches, as you can see, most of what well, some two of which I use for actual handbags, crossbody handbags, and the other one is just kind of like a travel bag. So, let's start with that one actually. Let me put these over here to the side, honey. But this is my very first toiletry pouch 26. This is probably 15 years old. Um, and I, for whatever reason, the reason why you see this horrible gold star on here is because I got an idea one day through some sort of inspiration to paint my bag. So I went out, got a tinsel and some gold metallic paint, and um, it was a horrible idea. So I'm going to have to have somebody fix this for me one day, but she is not, as you can see, she has seen much better days, but she's an old girl. This is back when like the toiletry pouch 26 was like less than $400. Um, so this is the interior. I still have toiletries in there from my, pre my last trip to New Orleans like two weeks ago. Um, yeah, so this is how I carry like my toiletries and I typically just keep the remaining stuff in there for the next trip. But yeah, so this is going to always be a staple in my collection. Um, she's still, she's still rocking and rolling. So that is my first in a uh, toiletry pouch 26. The second one that I picked up is a limited edition one. This is from, I forget the name of the collection, but I also use this as a crossbody bag. So this is definitely interchangeable. So this is my toiletry pouch 26 in the limited edition collection. Like I said, I forget the name of it, but this is how the back looks. And of course, because I do use this as a crossbody, there is an insert in there and a gold chain. So when I want to throw that thing on, I'm throwing that thing on. <laughs> And I love this uh, because of the limited edition um, pattern on there. And then that brings me to the last one that I own, which is actually the bag that I probably carry the most and the bag that I'm carrying currently. Um, but technically it is a small leather good. So this is, or a travel accessory, which we put in the small leather good category. So this is the, and y'all have, y'all see this probably weekly on my blog because like I said, I, I, I kill this. I, I, I kill it. But this is my monogram reverse voyage, but this is the reverse monogram of the monogram eclipse. So you have your monogram eclipse on the side and then you have the reverse on the back as well as the front. And again, I'm currently using this. <laughs> I love this because it has gunmetal gun metal hardware. So it's not silver. So I did get a, this gunmetal chain off of uh, Amazon, of course. And then, like I said, I'm using it right now. So as you can see, there's my Goyard pouch. And then it has a black insert. And I think there is some antibacterial wipes back there. So love this, kill it. And I got this pre-owned off of Fashion File as well. The last two pieces I wanna share with you guys, some people may and may not, some people may consider these to be small leather goods, but and some people may not, um, but, it, uh, but I'm gonna share them with you anyway. So this is my Chanel O case. Technically, this is a small leather good because this is supposed to be intended for a to be a laptop holder, like a 13 inch laptop holder. And I certainly use it for that, but I also use it mostly just as like kind of like a throw in um, pouch inside of my purses. And or from time to time, I use this as an actual clutch because it's big enough for that. 
but I love this. This again is the Chanel O case in black caviar leather with the gold hardware with of course the signature burgundy interior. And I love this. And when I got this y'all, I think it was in 20, maybe 2014, 2015. The price was, it was a great price back then. We'll just say that. And now not so much. And I would love to have this in a smaller version as well as in this size, which is the largest one. And I would love to have this in a pop of color as well. So hopefully one day I'm able to get that, but most definitely pre-owned because Chanel, the people over there, they lost their damn minds, girl, with the pricing. Um, and then the last piece that I'm gonna share with you guys is my Goyard. Again, this is not technically leather, but I guess this is leather piping on the side. This is also intended to not be a, um, a laptop holder, but this is intended to be like a document holder. Um, I'm like, what fly ass lawyers, and why is Alexa talking? What what fly ass document carrying lawyers have this? But um, if so, I need to meet you. But this is my Goyard Senate pouch, and this is the largest one in the size GM. As you can see, she's huge. This is in the gray color, which again, it has the signature Goyard uh, mustard yellow interior. This also, I picked this up um, from Fashion File, pre-owned as well. She's large, girl. She could probably fit like a 15 inch or a 17 inch laptop. As you can see, she's much larger than even my Chanel O case. I absolutely love this. I love gray Goyard print, and um, I got this for a really great price as well. It has this little cart built in. Yeah, so again, I absolutely love this piece. This is a beautiful piece. I don't use it as often as I would like, but I definitely need to start adding it into the rotation more often. And I use it as a clutch as well, um, as like a travel companion for like uh, my laptop, et cetera. So she's gonna, I'm gonna make it a priority to use this more in 2024. But uh, essentially that concludes my SOG collections video. Hopefully it wasn't too long, but Again, I am an absolute SOG lover, absolute SOG addict. It's a way that not only do I love them because you can just kind of have fun with them, but in addition to that, it's a way that you can indulge in luxury or in, um, yeah, in luxury without breaking the bank, <laughs> essentially, because they are, you know, much cheaper than like um, a handbag or something like that. So, but that isn't the only reason why I love SOGs. I just, like I said, I just find them fun and I find them, especially when it comes to like to limited edition collection pieces. And then also when I'm out, like if I'm in another city or another country, um, you can pick up the SOG and it will be like a commemorative piece from your, your vacation. So sometimes I do that as well. But, um, but yeah, so if you own any of these pieces, please comment down below, let me know. If you too are an SOG lover, please comment down below, let me know so we can all uh, understand that we are not alone in <laughs> this SOG loving gang that is. But overall, if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys and dolls in the next video.